Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. The uh, anticipated Linux distro Zorin OS 18 was recently released. In this video, I'm going to test drive the Zorin OS 18 Pro Edition. If you're uh, new to Zorin, you're going to appreciate this tour. This uh, tour will pop up uh, when you first boot up to uh, Zorin. What we're going to do is we're going to push through this tour very quickly just to give you an idea. So let's uh, start the tour. Of course, here it tells you, just so you get familiar, it says open the menu to launch apps. It's pretty simple, right here. That's it. It makes it very simple to understand. We're going to go through here. Uh, yes, you can choose your appearance uh, with Zorin. That is pretty neat, and uh, we're going to touch base on that a little bit later. Uh, here you can connect your online accounts. Uh, you can link your phone and computer with Zorin Connect and um, use software to find and install apps. That's pretty important, and it's kind of fun. And, uh, well, that's about it, as they say. So let's uh, dive in, and let's have this high-level test drive. Probably the first thing to look at would be the apps that come with it. So let's just take a look. We're going to look at this really quick. Uh, we won't spend a lot of time, but uh, got a number of categories here, so we'll take a look at accessories first. I'm using a uh, Windows keyboard, so I'm just going to... Uh, Use the up-down keys to navigate, take a look at it. So yes, you could arrow up if you wanted to, and you can arrow down. Those are the apps that come with the accessories category. Let's see what's in graphics. We're gonna take a look here. We're just gonna move through here. Take a look at the apps that come through here. Let's take a look. Uh, these are the apps we've got here to choose from. Uh, next is internet. Let's see what's here within it. Now, the web browser is always important. So uh, Zoran OS 18 comes with the Brave web browser. We're going to pop that open just to take a look at it. There you go right there. And you can see uh, Zorn is one of uh, my favorite websites. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill in there just to take a look at it. This is something for you to have a look at. Uh, when uh, It's just a, a thought, a recommendation. It is if you're ever going to consider a Linux distro, it's, it's a pretty good idea to go visit that distro's web page and read up on it. That being said, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to copy it. Why am I doing that? Well, I'm going to do something with this a little bit later. Uh, let's go here. Let's go back to the internet where we left off. And we're going to arrow down to some more uh, internet apps. This one is pretty cool. This one I want to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and open up web apps. Oh, you know what? Do this. Let's look at this. See right here? See the utilities right here? There's no categories under it. Utilities is the last category. I'll say. So keep that in mind. Now, what we're going to do here... Uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to type the, well, I'm going to type this, Zorin. And I'm going to enter the URL. Got it. And I'm going to hit OK. Pretty nice, right? Let's close that out. Now let's take a look. Oh, there it goes. Did you just see that? It just popped in there. Pretty cool. Uh, so let's, uh, we're going to do that again. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to drill in there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Zoran uh, web app. And look at this. It loads the web page for me. Okay, that is kind of neat, right? So let's uh, close this out. And what I want to do next is the question is, hey, Marty, what if I want to delete this? What if I want to remove this? Well, it's very easy. So let's go back to Internet. I'm going to go back to Web Apps. You can see it right there. I'm going to click on the minus sign or basically remove. Do I want to remove it? Yes, uh, just read through it if you want, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Close it out, go back down here, and it's gone. Check it out. All right, so what other apps do we have here? Uh, what we'll do is we'll just work our way through. We'll just push on through here to take a look at, see what they've got here. Uh, you can see uh, Zeron OS 18 comes with the LibreOffice suite. Kind of nice. And we're just going to push on through here. Got it. Now let's push out. That was Office. So now let's take a look at sound and video. And again, we'll work our way using the arrow keys. You don't have to use the arrow keys. Of course, you could take your mouse and click on that sidebar and you know drag it up and down, drag it north and south. Oh, side note, see that uh, OBS Studio? If you look right here, I'm using it right now. To, uh, I'm actually using it to uh, capture the video for this. Uh, it's a screen record. I'm doing a screen record for this video. So again, nice that uh, Zeron OS 18 Pro comes with OBS Studio makes the job easier doesn't it so let's go back so like I said you can if you wanted to you don't have to use the, use the up and down arrows you can take your mouse and click here and drag up and down you get the idea we can do that uh, let's see what else we got here uh, system tools I think is next let's take a look at that uh, you know what we're gonna use the arrow keys let's just push through here 
All right. Software. Okay, that's kind of nice. That's uh, kind of like an app store. So this is where you can find apps that you want to install or remove from this distro. Nice to have there, right? And uh, here you've got, let's go back to system tools. Let's see what else you got. Software updater, you can load that when you feel like it, you know, when you when it's necessary. Or sometimes it'll uh, it'll inform you on its own, say, hey, there are updates for you. Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it later? You know what? Let's just take a look at it. I did some updates earlier today. Uh, so let's see what pops up at this point in time. Let's see. What do we have to say here? Up oh, there, software is available. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going, I'm in the middle of this video, so uh, remind me later. So I'm going to close that out. So let's go back. Uh, let's go back to system tools and see if we've got everything we need to look at. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's take a look. And of course, we'll check that out. So right here, you got tour. So if you need to go back to that uh, opening tour screen, it's where you can find it. Or you could also just type tour here. That's something you could do. You could type tour. There you go. And you could just click on there. You could bring it back up. And uh, bring the screen up. You could follow the tour again. So let's see what else we got here. We got utilities. And let's just uh, arrow through this. See what you got here. There you go. All right. So I think this will conclude at least the portion of reviewing the, uh, the apps that come with Zorin OS 18 Pro. I'll tell you what, let's take a look at Zorin Appearance. This is kind of nice. Uh, keep in mind, uh, you're going to find more features in the uh, Zorin uh, OS 18 Pro release. It's a pay to use release, uh, but uh, keep in mind, uh, the other releases do have some of these features. but. Uh, if you're really into features, you're into the uh, Zorn appearance, uh, the Pro release is the way to go. But anyway, we'll just take a look at a few of these. So here we're at the original default setting. I'm going to click on another one here. You can see how it's changing. Take a look at the appearance. You can see how it's changing. Uh, uh, things are just changing around a bit. There you go. But I'm going to go back. There's more here, but uh, I'm going to save those for you in case you uh, don't want to take away the uh, surprises if you opt for the Pro release. So I'm going to go ahead and click back here. We're going back to the default. Let's take a look at theme. All right, so here's the theme right here. This is the one we're using right now. Let's switch to the dark theme, and we'll take a look at... Oh, check that out. That is kind of cool, right? That is cool. All right, let's go back to the original. Let's go back to effects. I always have fun here. Now, I've been playing with this, so uh, I'm not sure if this is default settings because I've already been playing with this for a while. But uh, jelly mode, so right here. So here's jelly mode. I'm going to go ahead and minimize. You can see how it dropped down. You got that? I'm going to switch this to, oh, let's do this too. You get that? I'm shaking around. All right. So now I'm going to change to jelly mode and uh, minimize. Uh, it's got a different effect, doesn't it? And here you get that, the jelly mode. So I, I kind of stay with that. I like it. It's just kind of fun to have. Uh, let's flip these two on here. The desktop cube. Yeah. And then let's flip uh, spatial windows stitcher. Let's do that. So we're going to flip that on. So uh, let's have a little fun here. Now you can see that right there. I'm gonna, I can uh, move it back and forth. I'm uh, spinning the uh, mouse's scroll wheel to get that effect here. I can also take my mouse and drag. You can get that, it's kind of cool, right? So you can do that. You can move it around like that. That is kind of cool, right? And uh, let's see what else we need to take. Oh, and this part, this is kind of fun. So you can either use your Windows and Tab key or your Alt and Tab key, but check this out. So I'm gonna hold down the Windows key. Kind of cool, right? Let's do it with the Alt. Alt key and the tab key. Nice, right? Something just to uh, have some fun with. So let's close this out. And uh, did you see that? So uh, like I said, I'm using, you can see me talking right there. I'm using uh, OBS Studio to uh, screen record. Kind of fun, huh? Nice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. So let's close this out. Let's see what else we can look at. All right, uh, I always like to play with the real estate here. So I'm gonna open up a couple of these apps. Uh, let's see, that's two apps. That's uh, a third app. We're gonna open up the browser. And you know, I'm gonna open up one more. Let's take a look here. Let's go to Office. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Libra Office Writer. All right, so what I like to do is always like to take a look and play with the real estate here. So give me a second here. Let's see if we can grab this. Love that jelly mode. Oh, look at that. You're getting a little spoil alert there. But yeah, so you can always drag it. Uh, to the upper left corner. You could drag this to the lower left corner. You can get the idea. So it's going to split up into 25%, 25%. 
and I can take this browser and I can drag it center here, you get it. So I'm using 50% here, 25% here, and 25% here. But let's drag it down this way. Let's do this. Now, uh, like I said, uh, if you go up here to north, this is kind of nice. So if you want to, you could drag it. Uh, well, for example, you go this way. Got it. And you want to take another one? Let's find that one again. Let's go with that one. And kind of helps you break down the real estate. So there you go. Uh, just kind of something kind of nice here. Let's uh, see what else we can do here. Let's change this. Let's go with this. And then let's take this. And we'll go with this. We'll take this. And we'll drag it to this section. Again, kind of nice. Just makes it a little bit easier to spread out the real estate. Kind of a nice little feature there, right? So I'll tell you what. Let's uh, move on to something else. All right, we're going to have a little fun here. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, exploring uh, Zoran OS 18 Pro. Let's open up these apps again. We're going to play with the uh, workspaces. So let's open up one more. Let's go again with... Uh, let's again go with the... Uh, Office Writer, so we're gonna open these up. All right, so uh, what you can do here is you can see this down here. Uh, you got two workspaces open right now, so let's uh, take a look. We're gonna pop that out. If you wanted to, well, to make it easy, you could just drag this one over here and watch. So now I'm using the scroll wheel on the mouse. There you go, you got that. But let's do this. So let's take this app, and I'm just gonna drag it up here. Do you get that? So now. You got that kind of cool right now something to keep in mind again you got one two three four number two has the attention down here one two three four and number two has the attention so just something to look at you got it and uh check this out so i'm holding the uh mouse over this uh down here you can see right here where the workspaces are located and as i hold it over there i'm spinning the mouse to go with it see kind of another way around it so let's do this. See, uh, now I've got the mouse over the uh, taskbar right here. There's nothing, uh, you know, it's drawing the attention to. So I'm spinning the wheel. Nothing's happening. But if you put your mouse right here, start spinning your wheel. Look at that. You're navigating. Kind of cool, right? So let's uh, click here. You get the idea. So what we can do is I'm going to just take this one. That's in number three. And I'm going to take it and drag it over to number one. Watch. See, it uh, now reduced to three. This one is empty, this has got an app, and this has got some apps there. Uh, just something extra to take a look. Something, uh, another fun thing with Zoran OS 18 Pro. Almost forgot to show you this. I wanted to show you this. I thought this was worth a view. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this taskbar here. You can kind of see the uh, rounded edges there, right? All right, so uh, I'm going to uh, right click with the mouse and I'm gonna bring up taskbar settings, load it up. And first, let's take a look at the margin. Margin, you know, you can kind of see a little space here, right there. You can kind of see it right there. You see the mouse right there where I'm trying to point? So let's uh, move it from four, move it up a bit. There, look at the margin there. Nice, right? All right, we're going to slide that back to four. Now, let's take a look at the border radius. Kind of this roundness here, right there. You see that right there? So I'm going to move it uh, up to 25. Can you see that? It's a little more rounder there, more round there. And we're going to slide it all the way to the left, squared off. So let's put it back to 15. Now what I want to do is take a look at position. Right, right now it's a bottom, so I'm going to go to top. Got it. Go left. I'm going to go right. You got that? That's kind of cool. Uh, let's go back to the bottom. And panel thickness. All right, we're at 48, so let's just slide it all the way this way. Oh, that is big. But you know what? Uh, that's nice, especially when you get to be my age. Sometimes it's easier to see. So let's slide it back. Let's go back to 48. And now let's push it away to the left. Oh, that is kind of small. You know, I can't see that. So I'm going to have to at least go back to this 48. And uh, panel length. Okay, this is going to be kind of fun. We're at 100% right here. Slide it down to 50. Okay, you get the idea. And I'm going to slide it down even further. There you go. So let's go back to 100%. And uh, just wanted to show that. I thought that was worth a show. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to be drawing this video to a conclusion very soon. But I want to show you one more thing. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. Uh, when you subscribe to this channel, you help making this channel grow and it's always appreciated. And the likes are always good. And I'll tell you what, uh, with Zoran OS 18 Pro, uh, if you feel I've left something very important out or anything that you think is worth mentioning, please be sure to put in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. So for this last item, uh, what I want to show you is uh, if you got a Windows keyboard, double click that Windows uh, key. You get that. 
And uh, let's go ahead and let's take this calculator. Just going to show you. Uh, we're going to load this calculator by just dragging it into a workspace. Watch that. And let's go over here. And we're going to take LibreOffice. We're going to drag it here. You get it. Kind of nice. So you get the idea where this is going. But check this out. I'm going to take this and drag it over here. You get it. So then uh, I'm going to minimize. And of course, now you got the calculator. So there's a little bit something extra uh, for concluding this video. Uh, I do appreciate uh, you viewing this video. And as always, thank you for watching.